How good's that? I go to school of life. Yeah. They, that you do. Did you find it? My <laughs> might that be? That might be a certain pregnant lady that we know. A mm. pregnant lady? Yes. Who is that? I wonder. Chandler, who is that? <laughs> yes. So, Bindi is now 28 weeks pregnant. Wow! Like a possum, you're yeah. pregnant 28 days. Yeah, oh, that'd be <laughs> it's pretty good. That's very cool. But yes, yeah. everything that goes along with that, getting everything ready and all the checkups and all the accoutrements along with being pregnant. So it's yeah, a very very busy time for her, but she's doing so well. It's true. And last year, you guys didn't just get married and start a family. Indy also did something else. Yes. She wrote a book she in all did. of her spare time. <laughs> she did, and it's because everybody kept saying, the zoo turned 50, where's, mm. where's the history book about the zoo? Yeah. So she went ahead and wrote a book, and I'll show you. It's pretty Here cool. You go. It couldn't quite crawl, it was really yeah. safe. Yeah. yeah, and I turned out fine. You so. sure did. <laughs> Yeah, you're exactly like your dad. Uh, anyway, so you know what your dad would actually do is he'd actually demonstrate what not to do by going in the water. In the water? Yeah. With the crocs? Yeah. Which can, is... Can I do it? Can I get in? Come on, what do you reckon? Yeah! Let's do it. It's what the people want. Fine, be really careful. Come on, Louie. Come on. All right, so... As soon as I get into his water, that's when he starts to put on the power. Now we'll all look here at the entrance to that canal as Bluey makes his way out. Now I'm stamping my feet on the bottom of the water and he's picking up on that. He's got these little sensor receptors called the tegumentary sense organs all over his body. He can pick up those vibrations even in murky water, but it gets him really angry and really fired up. And now that he is so angry, I reckon <laughs> he's all yours, Mum. <laughs> Thanks, Robert. Come on, Louie. What you doing, Louie? Come on, Louie. Come on. Whoops. Uh, uh, maybe you should get him across the creek really right. quickly. Come on. Come on. Run, Robert. Come on, Louie. Good, 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 good. Thank you. Ready, Bluey? There's not much room to move here, so if I sound nervous, it's because I am. <laughs> what are you doing, Bluey? What are you doing, big boy? What do you reckon, mate? Being a bit funny here, I'm going to try and reset him. What do you reckon, Bluey? You're gonna reset him like he's a watch. Yeah. <laughs> come, Louie. Come, big boy. Come. Come, Louie. Come on. Come. I think he really hates me. Come on. Up here, big boy. Come on, up here, big boy. He's gonna have a little look here. Now what he's doing here is he wants me to get closer. He's playing this little game. It's great, but you only get to play it once. <laughs> What's the game called? It's called Come Closer. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see how we go here. Come on. Oh. How good is that? Come on, mate. Good boy, Bluey. There we go. Gee, Robert, you're a braver man than I. Wait, that is it. terrifying. So what you saw there was the strike from the water's edge, which is pretty explosive. But they also have another technique called the tail walk, and Mum's going to demonstrate that. Awesome. Crocs can come vertically out of the water nearly their whole body length if the water's deep enough. This is a really cool technique I've seen them do in the wild, where they can catch a bird on the wing. I saw one catch a fruit bat once. Good job, Louie. Isn't he beautiful? I think we've got his favorite. 
Yes, it's a little rat burger. And those rat burgers are fresh from Crikey Cafe, and he loves them. <laughs> they are not fresh from they're so bad. Oh, he's really keen. Like I'm going to see if he'll eat this too. Do you want this too? He's pretty keen, isn't he? Good grief, Louis. Oh, he's going crazy today. Good job, Louis. All right, let's see if we can get him interested away from me. Yeah, oh, that's good. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to try and get Louie out on land one last time, just so you guys can see how crocs can move once they're out of the water. Nice Chandler. Ooh, there's a Look at the food, not me, please. <laughs> Ooh, oh, nice one, Chandler. Big oh, game for Chandler. How good was that? Good on you, mate. Get him something big. All right. Get him a Christmas ham. Thank you, mate. Yes. <laughs> so, a nice big piece of feral <laughs> meat. Come on. Check it out, Louis pretty stoked. He's like, <laughs> so now he's going into camouflage attack mode. Then he's gonna strike, he's gonna grab that food item and instinctively he'll try to get that food back into the water. So what he's gonna do is he's gonna try to overpower that piece of pig and drown it very quickly. So Robert's simulating a struggling animal. Oh, death roll, you little gripper! So he's trying to spin the animal off its feet, two death rolls, and get the animal disoriented, and then it'll drown quickly. So that's his whole objective. Don't you love Bluey? He's like when you play tug of war with your dog. Three death rolls. I feel like an auctioneer. Do I hear four? Do I? Yes, I have four. Are we going to do any more, or is four it? We have five. Five death rolls. Good job, Bluey. Awesome, Robert. That was fantastic. Bluey, I love you so much. You're having a little trouble there, babe. Crunching it up nicely. Oh, that's a pig's leg. And it did crunch it up. Cranky, that's very big. My legs hurt. So now he's got to swallow this piece of food down whole. Crocodiles are kind of like dinosaurs. They can't chew their food, so they'll swallow something down in one gulp. Look at it go. Bye-bye, delicious food. Bluey, you love this. It's your favorite part of the day, isn't it? You are so beautiful and naughty, and I love you so much. See, as long as I keep talking and he's listening to my voice, I'm safe because he's a male, so he can only do one thing at a time. So I'm just gonna keep talking. Maybe I should be quiet so you can think. There we go. Yeah, see? Thinking. Yeah. That's a really good one, Mom. No, you notice that's a pretty safe way to tell male from female crocodile. That's that, really funny. Yeah. yeah. It's so, funny, that, isn't it? And a whole yeah. thing in the yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's pretty good. Actually, seriously, now he needs to go home. He does. And he's had a big fee and he's not going home. So how do you think we should lure him all the way home? Well, I think food's not really gonna be the motivator for him anymore. I think there's really only one thing left to do, which is to infringe on his territory. Oh, all right. Right. And when you say we should infringe on his territory, what exactly do you mean? Well, yeah, well, I had an idea. What do we think about really putting Bindi's husband to the test? What do you reckon? Should we get Chandler in there? Is that because she's not here? Yeah, I'm too scared of her to do all she is. <laughs> Alright, Chandler. You're let's right. see if you can infringe on Bluey's territory and successfully lure him all the way home. Let's see how Chandler's going to approach this. Bluey's key. Please do not panic. Don't worry about Chandler. The water is heated. <laughs> it's about 30 degrees Celsius. He's not going to get a chill. Plus, Bluey's on top of the water, so Doy, Chandler can see him. He knows that. If he was actually trying to kill Chandler, he would submerge, becoming the unseen predator. But right now, he's just like a really dangerous bull toy. You know? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, you might yeah. want to actually swim yeah, now, Chandler. Chandler. 
So he's hunting you now. Okay, well, this has been great, and you've got to experience something you can see nowhere else on planet Earth. Big hand for Chandler. <laughs> He, is. he can swim fast. Frankie he can swim fast. But of yeah. course, when a croc tucks its legs next to its side and swims with that powerful tail, it can reach a top speed nearly as fast as I like that little demonstration. Did you like that? That was great. Yeah. yeah. Really, really well, good. It's a visual effect. <laughs> it really is. And you know, your dad built the crocosseum with clear water. So you can see what the crocodile's doing. You can really appreciate if this was like the Wenlock River in North Queensland you'd have no hope of seeing a crocodile if it was stalking. And that's so. the thing, because he's behaving as if it is murky water. Yeah. He's doing exactly what a crocodile would be doing. You can see at the start, as we're...